Sustainability is becoming more entrenched in the everyday lives of Dunedin residents, but it's not just about driving less and growing vegetables. Dr Samuel Mann from the Otago Polytechnic joins us to talk about sustainability and computing. Good evening. Good evening. Tell us a little bit about your role at the Polytech. I'm a professor in IT in the um, College of Enterprise and Development. How is sustainability linked to computing? Well, like any discipline, how is it not related to computing? Because sustainability is at the heart of, of every discipline. Um, and we can think about sustainability in terms of the footprint, that's the, the impact, the negative impact it has in the handprint. And the footprint for computing, we can think about the, the, the how much it costs the world to make the, 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 um, the devices and how much it costs to run them. And then there's a handprint, and that's what good it does. And the handprint for computing is enormous. It's one of those um, pivotal type disciplines that influences lots of other things. Hmm. Now your work includes making sure that graduates are sustainable practitioners. What's that about? That's about making sure that the students are prepared to be making the world a better place as, as part of what they're doing. So it's about critical thinking, it's about creative thinking, it's about being aware of the systems and so on. What are the challenges of making that happen? Getting them past the sort of what we can just describe as the naive ethics. Mm. People think that their job when they, when they graduate is going to be about doing exactly what the employer tells them. And any professional knows that it's not quite like that. It's more about sort of seeing the, the world as a bigger thing, your social responsibilities, your environmental responsibilities, and working with your employer to make sure those sorts of things happen. So, Is sustainability a fad? Well, no, it's not a fad because it's been around for... 50 years or something, at, at least if we go um, back and look at the, the origins of it, if, if not longer. And also it's not going anywhere um, anytime soon, uh, unless we come up with a miraculous recovery of you know, ecosystems, um, mm. equity and so on. So those things aren't likely to happen, so sustainability is not going anywhere. Mm. What is likely to happen if we don't become more sustainable? Well, we'll continue to the massive species loss and so on that we've, we've got now. Sustainability isn't something that we can say, that's going to start on a Tuesday in 2017 and if we don't make it, we'll fail. We're already on this, this you know, not very good trajectory. But sustainability is about making sure that it's a, it's a positive thing, not a negative thing. We want to make um, sure that it's a, it's a better future, not a lesser future. Is Dunedin a relatively sustainable community? Well, certainly individuals in it are. There's, there's some things about our, our structures that are difficult to, to see as being sustainable. Um, my my, my favourite topic is the, the logs on the Port Chalmers Road. We, we own the logs, we own the roads, we own the port, we own the railway, yet we don't seem to be able to get organised to get those logs onto the railway, which would be a more sustainable solution. So it's about systems. It's not just about turning the lights off, which we do, do, do need to be careful about our own individual use. but. We've got some work to do on the, the systems in the mm. city and the, and the country and the world we live in. Do you think people are interested in sustainability? Oh, I, th I, I know so. We've had very little sort of complaint from students, very little complaint from staff. It's been more about, yep, this is what we want to be doing, let's get on with this. Mm. What are your ideals in the future regarding sustainability? Oh, my ideals would be that this is something which people don't question, that people don't ask questions like, what's this got to do with computer computing? That it's um, that's something that is accepted as this is what we're actually doing, this is what we're here for. Mm. Does more need to be done to teach the public about what they can do? More needs to be done on two fronts. More needs to be done on getting people to, to carry on with the sorts of things that they're doing, the energy, energy efficient light bulbs and, 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 and so on. But also more needs to be done to get people to actually encourage those systems changes. What's it going to take? to get the system changes. It's going to take people doing things like getting involved in politics, going along to um, sort of political debates and, and that sort of stuff, mm. so that the politicians, who are really the ones that we need to put in place the structures to make those systems changes, can get on with it. Dr Samuel Mann from Otago Polytechnic, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.